Hey, what's up everybody? This is Nightwing2303 from KicksOnCourt.com. Today I have a quick look at the upcoming Air Jordan 9 Retro. And this is the black, white, and photo blue. Um, these are supposed to be due out in stores on November 3rd, which is a Saturday. Uh, it, it's exactly one week from today. And you can pick your pair up a little bit early um, over at SneakerCrew.com. It's free shipping in the U.S., uh, pretty decent price point um, after tax and the shipping fees that are obviously included within the uh, total price. It's about $45 over retail, so not too bad. And here is a quick look at the box label. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright guys, so here is just a quick look. These look really, really nice in person, um, I must say. I already liked them from the, the images themselves, um, but getting them in hand, I just really like the black and the royal blue, or photo blue. It looks royal to me, and um, I just really like the way that it looks. Uh, it came together very nicely, and the craftsmanship on this particular pair is very good. Um, let's see, these kind of remind me of the... Um, uh, the Penny Hardaway Player Editions, or Player Exclusive, uh, from way back in the day. It's like 94, 95. Um, the, the main difference, though, like the colors are, are fairly similar, but basically that shoe was a charcoal Air Jordan 9, so the black upper and the charcoal wrap. Um, and then everything that was red on the original charcoal, so the inner lining and the logos and branding, um, that was all a royal blue and then they had a number one on the back so as far as quality goes, quality of materials um, you know the new buck here is a very nice I wouldn't say very nice, it's, it's basically what we've been getting so in that sense I'm used to it so technically yes very nice but realistically it's just kind of whatever um, the leather is kind of shiny um, it's not too bad and it is a split grain so it's that real thin I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it um, so like right in here yeah you probably won't be able to see it but there's like the grain right there and um, it's just real thin and it's got that PU coat on it the polyurethane coat so it's kind of you know whatever I, I do think though that with with Jordan brand there's so little leather on the Air Jordan 9 I mean literally it's just this this piece of upper there like they should just go all out and put some nice leather on there um, that's just my opinion so but overall like the stitch work is perfect which it better be on this pair because they went out of their way to go do all this contrast stitching so if one thread was screwed up you'd notice so this is one of those shoes where you know if you uh, if you mess it up like you'll you'll notice right away and all that contrast stitching is all over the place so stitch work is pretty much on point um, all over the entire shoe and the inner is just a black with a white jump man and then you got the sole there typical Air Jordan 9 sole I like the soles on these so these ones are really comfortable by the way the Kilroy's were decent um, the older retro models I wouldn't say they're older but the previous retro models they were okay I know my charcoals feel kind of stiff um, my original colorways the white the white with the black here um, with the red the Chicago uh, version those ones are, are comfortable after I evolved in them uh, this like softened up a lot um, these feel like that already like they feel like they're broken in already so I do like that but there's a look at the other shoe I am definitely impressed with the craftsmanship so I'm happy that they paid attention since there's so much stitch work that's visible I do think that this would have looked ten times better with black stitching though um, I don't I'm not a huge fan of contrast stitching but um, I just love the colorways they usually do a blue a blue Air Jordan correct um, like they usually do those proper um, my favorite blue Air Jordan have, have to be the 13's um, the flints with the French blue upper 
and then the low top version I love um, the black with the white pods and then the French blue uh, overlay mesh panels with the 3M it's kinda like this colorway a black and blue with a white trim um, or bottom so I like them um, but yeah usually when Jordan Brand does a does a blue version of a shoe it's usually on point um, French blue 12s the only ones that I really haven't liked actually are the uh, the Royal uh, 10s the old Royal 10s I think that those are just ridiculous um, in a bad way so but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, again, you can grab these over at sneakercrew.com um, if you want to you know, get them out of the way. I know that the next couple of months are going to be pretty rough. Um, Jordan Brand's throwing out tons of different uh, sneakers, including just a slew of nines out of nowhere. Um, and uh, then you have the, the fours and the black and red elevens. Um, so, yeah. Oh, cool gray nines. There's all kinds of stuff. Man, I don't even remember um, all of them. But uh, most of them you can pre-order now over at sneakercrew.com. So if you're looking to do that, you can do that. Um, or you can try your luck out on release day. And um, I don't know if I'm even going to be able to grab every single release. I doubt it. So Because there's, there's performance shoes that I need to get too. So um, yeah, I know that the KDs and the Kobe's, uh, those both come out in December. So that'll... That'll be pretty rough because um, then you got the the Elevens too. So, yay! <laughs> so, good job, Nike and Jordan. Um, but yeah, so that pretty much takes care of it. Um, stay tuned to On Feet. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, guys, have a good one. Uh, just real quick, um, I figured I'd do one more over of the shoe with the light on. Um, this camera, like, that's probably glowing in your face right now. Um, this camera just sucks light in like crazy so um, and it usually is very very apparent with white so um, I had the light off during the quick look so here's one more look with the light on hopefully that'll be a little bit easier for you guys um, you know what I mean so there it is I, I'm, I apologize I don't really know how to fix it other than turning the light off I've used this like um, this thing right here and that's supposed to be for like sunlight it doesn't really work with this kind of light so um, like fluorescence and stuff it doesn't it doesn't really help with that so but yeah again the uh, craftsmanship is great quality of materials could be better but what else is new can't really complain about it anymore because uh, they keep selling so they're gonna keep thinking that they're right so and um, that Oops. so there it is with the lights on um, now stay tuned to on feet and thanks again so have a good one